Hey guys, Hiro here with Narratude for Blender, let's talk about selections. There are many ways of selecting stuff in Blender and I'm just gonna show you uh, quite a few of them actually that I find extremely useful, okay? So first, the main one is simply by left-clicking on an object. For those of you who were born, you know, before 1854, you can always go to key map and switch it to right mouse button. Another way of selecting stuff would be by pressing A. This will select everything and Alt-A normally is gonna cancel it but what I have to press is AA and it's because my uh, machine tools are actually mapped to uh, to A key so when I go with Alt A I'll be using a line tool instead so I'm gonna press A and then AA okay but if you you know if you're using machine tools and you're wondering what the hell is my Alt A key well that's AA basically that there you go another way of selecting stuff would be by pressing C which is a um, circle select and this one is odd so when I make my circle bigger or smaller with my wheel I can select stuff but then if I want to deselect it I need to hold shift uh, which is unlike any other selection tool in blender that worked in a way that when you hold shift you can select multiple stuff so I don't know which one I thought is a good idea but probably the same one that came up with a right click in 2.79 anyway there you go so C right then you have W, okay? W is gonna work only in edit mode. So if you press W twice, you can select stuff. If you then hold shift, you can select more. If you hold control, you can deselect it. And that's your W, okay? Now let's talk about loop selection. So when you have loop selection, right? Um, when you wanna select the whole loop, you press Alt and hold it and select the loop, right? If you wanna select the second loop, you need to press Alt and shift and select it. Now, if you have a um, loop that, you know, around an object that cannot be selected this way because simply um, the Blender doesn't know which way to go with your selection, you need to release Shift and Alt and hold Control and select it around like this, okay? So you do it like this. I'll click to select a loop, Shift click to select next one, Shift click and then Control click, all right? Another way of selecting stuff would be using lasso tool, which is accessed by hol holding control and selecting bunch of stuff. This one will work in any mode. Then let's let's talk about some more advanced stuff, okay? So let's delete these cubes. Actually, no, let's leave them. Let's borrow one and move it in here and make it smaller uh, on z-axis. There we go, and a bit larger. And now let's uh, you know let's let's cut some holes in it, okay? So let's go to box select and just let's you know cut some holes in it, right? Uh, but not across, preferably. And also we need to be in orthographic view. There we go. So let's do it again. And let's you know let's just cut a few holes in here. And then let's recall this cutter. And let's go to edit mode and let's simply um, copy this a few times. And Bob Jungle. Now let's let's apply this and let me show you something cool. So let's say that you're you know working on this stuff and you want to, for example, you want to bevel uh, these corners here, right? Well, selecting all this stuff would be just a chore. So what you can do is go to Shift G and select by direction and you will need to remove these because these are running at the same direction however it's easier to deselect four than select you know 100 million of them right so then you can control b and you know you can have some fun another way of selecting stuff here would be by selecting a face then going shift g and co planner okay that's pretty cool too right then you have stuff like loops. Let's say that you wanted to bevel these guys around, right? So again, selecting all this stuff would be just, you know, awfully tiring. So what you do is go here, Shift G, Co-Planner, Control Plus to expand selection, which is another way of selecting stuff. So Control Plus and Control Minus, okay? It's very useful. Control Plus, and then you go to Select, Select Loops and Boundary Loops. And there you go. Another way of selecting would be selecting um, stuff for uh, separating into objects. So let's say that you have uh, this cube, okay? 
So let's bring it here. And let's let's you know let's flatten it and make it bigger. And then let's go to Ngon tool and let's slice it, okay? Like this, right? And let's apply it. So now we have one object, but it consists of many objects. I mean not many objects, but you know, separate pieces. So let's say they were complicated and they have like a lot of bevels, okay? Um, let's just bevel all the edges to to show you my point. So now we have a lot of bevels, right? Now selecting all these, um, you know, by even Control Plus and expanding would just take time. So what you can do is select it by linked. Uh, so you click on one vert or one edge, doesn't matter. And you go Control L, which will select linked objects. And then you can go P and split it into selection. And that's how you can easily separate object that is visually split into different uh, pieces. This is very useful, for example, for when you're using stuff like um, solidify cut in hard ups. So let's go to um, let's go to circle cut, and I'm going to go to object orientation. I mean object uh, alignment, and I'm gonna simply cut it, and then go um, then go Q, not Q, sorry T and solidify it right now what solidify will do if i go to uh, x remote you see it actually splits this object into two you see that so now it's really easy to separate them because when i apply it i grab this one and i can go simply Control l and separate it or i could just simply go Control plus it's the same thing just keep pressing until you know everything is selected and then p and you got two separate objects okay another way of selecting stuff would be by going into material selection so let's apply mat here and let's apply mat here and another one here and maybe another one here so we have a few mats going on in here okay and let's say we want to Put some mud on this cube but we want to apply different mud to this one so let's click plus and apply this one and i want to apply different mud to this one okay so let's again click here and assign right and now you see let's say that this was a complicated object has a lot of faces different cuts different materials and so on right you would be really troublesome to select all of these uh, let's say that you had like um like here okay um you know you filled some of these pieces uh, and faces with different mats so the way to select it would be by material which means you click on the mat that you know you want to select shift g and by material and this will select um all items or faces um, that share this mat. So for instance, if I combine these cubes into one object by Control J, then if I go to this mat and go Shift G by material, you're gonna select this one and this one, you see, because now this is a one object, right? So that's very useful, for example, for um, when you work with materials and UVs, or when you wanna change mats to something else. So um, that's another way of selecting. Another way of selection would be like this. Let's say that I wanna select um, everything on this uh, object except the small faces inside so the easier way to do it would be to select all the faces right so shift g and co planner and then Control minus which will invert the selection okay so that's also a very powerful tool so let's use this Control i and let's invert the selection here so it's going to select everything in the scene except this one and we're going to click on this object and Control p and assign a parent, right? So now these objects are parented um, to this one, correct? With the parent lines. Now what if you had like a really complex object with a lot of gears and stuff and, you know, small objects, etc. They were all parented to one main object and you wanted to select, select all of them and say, copy them to the other side. So let's say you had like a bot leg, a mech, mech leg with all these junk on it you know, decals, everything, right? And you want it to mirror it to the other side. It would be troublesome to select all these items, um, you know, one by one. So what you can do is select the parent object, Shift G and immediate children. And this will select all the children. Then you select the parent and Bob's your uncle. Everything is selected. Another useful tip for selecting, it's not technically a select 
a selection tool, but it's actually useful for selection, is um, X-ray mode, which is Alt-Z. This will allow you to see through mesh, but also you got another way of um, going uh, X-ray by either clicking this uh, icon here, okay, or simply go into your, if you have machine tools installed, go into uh, this option and just select the occlude. This will switch to pass through. And now you can see through mesh in edit mode, which means, for example, if I, you know, wanted to um, select the edges at the back, which are normally invisible, I could do that. Okay. So that's very useful when you, for example, work on cuts. And you want to select, you know, these edges that you cannot see. So instead of moving the mesh all the time, you go to this X-ray mode and you can simply, you know, select um, desired um, desired pieces. Okay. Another thing that I use quite a lot um, would be checker deselect. So when you go to a cylinder, let's grab a cylinder and let's add some loops and let's turn off this x-ray and let's select these faces right so what if i wanted to select every second face well you can do that easily by going here and uh, selecting checker deselect and this one has more options if you want to so you can you know play with them okay offset and so on but that's very powerful if you want to create something like for example cog wheels or whatever so you know um stuff like this right individual origins something like that okay it's really easy it's even easier with hard ups by the way because in hard ups all you do is you simply go to q macro which is a new toy um so you go to q and m macro and you can do the same thing so there are more options in here under selection you can just you know go ahead and explore them but um uh, most of them are here. There's one more that I actually forgot to mention. It's quite important. And that's a box select. So box select is kind of like circle select, okay? It's just basically a box. So um, instead of going in a circle, you just go in a box. So you press B and you box select. And this is also cool because let's say that um, you want to um, move these um, these cuts a bit to the top, right? These ones. So the way to do this would be to go to occlude. So go turn on this uh, X-ray mode, then select these verts. So it's going to select everything through, right? And then simply move them, you know, to whatever you want. So G would be G, G, Y. There we go. G, Y or G, whatever. G, X, you know. And you can move stuff very precisely within your mesh. So box select is extremely powerful as well, okay? I use it a lot. In fact, I use box select more than I use circle select. By the way, that's all for me, guys. That's all the selections I use in my daily workflow in Blender. And hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next video.